Hey everybody, this is Kavanaugh, Nurse Kavanaugh's back here to teach you another week of yoga. And of course I had to bring my, my special friend, Penny the Peaceful Peacock. She just wants to say hi. Hi. So here we are and it's the second week. Let me put you down. And we are on the Rick theme right? But this week it's on being responsible. So that's kind of a big word maybe for some of my friends that might be watching. Um, what does it mean? It means to be responsible, to um, kind of take care of yourself and what you can do for yourself. Um, It's part of our Rick theme when we give out gotchas at school and you might've gotten one from one of your teachers um, or somebody else that works in the, in the school if you're doing something responsible. Like that would be in school if you maybe put your backpack away and your, and your jacket and everything where it belongs. Um, maybe being quiet when the teacher's te teaching, stuff like that. So being home and, and learning at home, how do we be responsible at home? There's a lots of ways to do that, right? So I wanted to let you know, um, by the way, today is Tuesday, April 7th, 2020, and we are, I think, are in our fourth week of learning from home. I hope it's going well for you guys and for your parents or your anybody who's taking care of you at home. Um, it's an interesting challenging time. So being Rick-like and being responsible for your family and those around you um, is only going to help, okay? So I wanted to also talk to you, because I'm a nurse, um, about this, okay? <laughs> Have you seen people walking around wearing stuff like this? Can you still hear me? I think so. I hope so. Um, Right, so this is being responsible. Being responsible for covering your nose and your mouth when you're outside or in the grocery store or the store, wherever you need to be right now in order to stay safe and healthy, not only for yourself, but for others. Okay, so it's getting hot in there. I'm gonna take this off. So this is one mask, right? They're making these masks too, which is pretty cool. Um, there's a lot of videos out there for people to on how to make masks. But I wanted to show you my fun-loving, peaceful, smiley face one too. So this is just a handkerchief, right? And I'm gonna do the same thing, but with a handkerchief. So I'm going to wrap that around, right? And it's going to keep my same idea, right? You don't necessarily need this. You can wear something like this from home to put on when you go outside of your home. Or if you're with a loved one that might not be feeling good, you can protect yourself in them. So that's being responsible. So I just wanted to let you know, kids, that if you see them around, which you will, um, you really will and you probably will for some time and that's okay. But if you do, don't be afraid it's being responsible and it's taking care of yourself and your loved ones and your friends. The other thing I wanna talk about quickly before we do yoga is staying home. And I know that can be hard to do when you have friends that you miss, but it's important and I'm gonna tell you why. The reason why, like our playground in our town doesn't have the swings on it and it has all that yellow police tape around it. It's not because we're being mean and that we don't want you to play. It's because we want you to stay safe and not get together with other people right now. We are fortunate to have stuff like this, right? Like the videos that we can share. If you heard of FaceTime or Zoom or video chats or Google Hangouts and meet, but there's so much out there. Do that instead from home, please, instead of meeting with others outside of your home. It's really important. The number one thing you can do right now to stay safe 
and be Rick-like and responsible is to only stay home and be with the people that you live with right now. This will not last forever, I promise you. It's gonna feel like a long time, but looking back, you're gonna say, that wasn't so bad. And you know what you can also say to yourself and you can feel good about yourself? You can say, I did my part. My part in all of this was to stay home, right? And you got this, you can do it. So anyway, now you get to stay home and do some fun yoga with me. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. So onward and upward, all right? Let's be responsible, stay home, wear our masks for out, have fun with it, get different types of material at home, maybe make some masks. I know a lot of people are doing that in town and giving those to others, which is awesome. What a great community we live in. Okay, all right, Penny, what do you say? Let's go over something about yoga. All right, I've done my fair share of sitting. Let's start, let's start moving. Um, so yoga, right? We talked about that last week. Yoga is about poses, right? And it's about breathing, right? It's also about being mindful, right? Kind of looking around and being aware of yourself and your senses wherever you are. So I'm gonna quickly review that. And the poses that I'm going to do are going to have to do with the story I'm gonna read you later so that you can remember them and then partake in it when you're watching this at home, okay? So I'm gonna put Penny back in a nice little space, okay? I'm going to get some of my props for you. Oh, I'm like, and this is the book, okay? So it's called Rachel's Day in the Garden. It's about springtime, which is now, which is cool. Are you seeing a lot of the pretty flowers starting to pop up and hearing the birds singing in the morning or in the evening? So before I read this, all I'm gonna do right now is review the poses with you so that when it does come time for us to do the book, you're gonna know what to do, okay? So here we are, first pose is sun pose. And what you can see is it's an extended mountain pose and her arms are up and she's standing, okay? And then the second one is rain pose. And what she's doing is she's standing but folding forward. So I'm gonna show you those two real quick. Let's see where you can see me. Okay, so sun pose and rain pose. Okay, pretty easy. All right, let's move on. Next is tree pose, then bird, and then plant. Okay, so tree pose. See that? That's probably a familiar one for a lot of people. People talk about that one a lot. Then we have bird pose, which can also be warrior three or airplane pose. And squat pose. And this is her when she's planting seeds in the story. So tree, bird, squat. Here we go. Okay, ready? So with tree pose, we want a nice mountain, right? Nice strong stance. Put your hands on your hips, bend your knees a little bit. Okay, what you wanna do is stand on one leg or kickstand. Do you know that I'm still balancing even though my other foot is on the ground? What else do we do? We get strong in the belly and we also find that focal point. Remember Penny was your focal point maybe last week? You can pick, you can see her. You can pick her or anything else that you might see. Okay, so tree pose. So some of you might be super flexible and you might do this, that's cool, right? Others not so much and that's also okay. Yoga is meeting yourself where you're at, okay? Any different position with that foot except against the knee. And I'm gonna show you why. Ah, oh, I just hurt my knee, right? So we don't wanna do that. We do not wanna to go to the hospital right now if we don't have to, okay? So we're taking care of our bodies. Tree pose on the other side, right? That's what we gotta do. All right, next is the bird pose. This is airplane. So there's such a thing as warrior three. Did you know that? There's warrior one, two, and then three. And here it is. So again, you start in your mountain pose, get really nice and strong in your feet, okay? You can put your hands on your hips to start. And what you wanna do is lift one leg 
and then gently lean forward. Arms out like a bird. Yeah. Okay, let's show you if you can see me from the other side. So here I am, my mountain. I'm just gonna lift that opposite leg. Good boy. And it's okay if you're wobbly, you're on one leg, right? Arms out. And so what I'm doing is I'm showing you from the side. Ooh, it's a windy day, okay? I'm flying like a bird. That is the other side. Now, squat pose is um, pretty much a squat. So in the story, Rachel's planting seeds. So you just wanna have a nice little wide stance with your feet, toes pointing out, and you're squatting, okay? Pretend you that you're planting your seeds. All right, let's move on. Doo -doo -doo. Lost my page, okay. Next is, I can't read that, caterpillar, bees, and butterflies. So caterpillar, it's also named locust pose. She's on her belly, I'll show you. Bees, she's just really in hero pose, and that means on her shins there sitting down, and I'll teach you the bumblebee breath while I'm there. But that won't be in the story, but I'm just gonna show you. And then the last one, is cobbler's pose or sukhasana or easy pose or butterfly pose. Okay, so let's do those three. Locust, Kiro, and cobblers. And I hope you're doing this at home so that you can practice before we read the book. Okay, so locust pose, I'm gonna show you this way and then that way. So you get on your belly, all right? Your feet are down, tops of your feet are down, and your hands are at your side. And you just lift your head, locust. Okay. And then show you, excuse me, show you from the side. Locust or caterpillar. Do you want to be really have fun with it? Go ahead and lift the legs. Can you see the legs? No. And then the arms. And Superman, or swimming, whatever you want to do. Now, while I'm here, kids, I'm going to show you bow pose. That, oh yeah, we did this last week because Sergeant Salutation, but it's a, a new song today. And I'm just showing you from the side. Okay, you're done with that. Um, also, I'm going to show you cat pose from the side since it's in the it's in the song that I'm gonna we're going to do. So you're on your tabletop, right? Your hands and your knees. Mm. So this is called table, right? And as a cat, a cat hissing, what does a cat hissing do? They kind of go like this with their back. Or meow, right? And then this is not one of the poses, but since I'm here, cow pose. Moo. <laughs> that was a bad move. But the reason being this is moo or cow pose is that I'm supposed to have udders like cows and dropping my belly down for others. All right, so cat, meow, and cow. All right, that's awful. Okay, so continue moving, Kathleen. What was the next one? Bees, okay. So hero pose, let's see if you can see me a little bit closer. Oh, right here, okay? Pretty simple, that's all it is. But I'm gonna teach you the bees breath, the bumblebee breath, and some of you, who did my enrichment class for grades K through two, we did this one, if you can remember. So you take, I might've done this with my three through six too. We had only had two weeks of it. Okay, what you do, do I remember this? Yeah, you take your thumbs in your ears, okay? And you're, you're supposed to like, I don't know, kind of cover your face. Here we are telling you not to touch your face and this is exactly what I'm doing, but we can be creative and not necessarily do that. So just, Put your thumbs in your ears, and when you do that, can you if you hear yourself talk, you sound different, right? Like in a tunnel. And what we do for bumblebee pose is we buzz like a bee. Okay, so here we go. Okay, there you go. That's a breath that you. Can 
can do and the vibration inside um, is supposed to help you calm yourself and it's kind of silly and fun all right last one cobbler's pose or butterfly pose right we did this we hold on to those toes we let the feet come together the knees drop out and we're you know moving our butterfly wings here okay butterfly pose all right we're almost done with the poses flower and rainbow okay so flower pose and then rainbow is my favorite you know why all she does is rest and lay down and look up at the sky at the rainbow it's kind of lovely uh okay so two more flower pose and resting pose did you know that there's a full moon tonight and because it's spring it's called a pink moon a super moon so why why is it pink it's actually the color's not going to be um very pink however um it's called that because of pink moss which is a pink flower i guess that grows in the springtime so hopefully you get to see the full moon tonight okay so flower pose is pretty much like this so you put your feet out a little bit in front of you okay take your hands put them in between your legs and then outside here and then you back your feet up and okay it's a little weird but it's fun and if you can't do it all the way don't worry this is um what you do in yoga you practice and every day we might feel different in our body and it's okay to not be able to do that if you can't okay so no worries while i'm here i'm just going to show you a pose that is just like flower pose but called turtle pose so the same thing kids you take your arms underneath your legs and all you do is round your back and put your head down like this and do you see how my back is rounded like a turtle shell okay turtle pose ah oh, here we go my favorite part resting pose so this one's so hard i don't know if i'm gonna be able to show you but uh you just go ahead and lay down I might not get up, kids. I'm just gonna say that right now. All right, so all you do is you lay down, your arms are at your side. <sighs> See how hard this is? <laughs> but what is nice is you can look up at the ceiling or the sky, or if you're outside, um, and pretend that you see a rainbow. Or you can use your imagination and close your eyes. And take a big deep breath. And let it out. Oh boy, I could really use a corona now. <laughs> that's what I'm calling them. All right, kids, that's the story. Well, the poses. I'm going to read the story in a minute. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Let's do. You ready for the song? I think so. Got to move around a little bit. All right, so let's do the song. This week, you don't have to hear me sing. I hear the cheers, yay. That was interesting. <laughs> but this week, I actually have the music, so I'm really excited. Um, okay, yes, I am. Very. So it's called Yoga March, Yogi March, Yogi's March. And Sergeant is in this, but it's not the Sergeant Salutation. It is a different song, okay? And it's going to go over bow pose, cat pose, a pose of your choice. So if I do say tree pose or dancer, you can do whatever other pose you want. Okay. And where's my list? Oh, um, peace pose, like sitting. That's easy. Easy pose. And then the rest pose. So it's all yoga. All right. We'll, uh, we'll show you right now. Okay. Put the music on. Okay, ready kids?
above and out through your nose. So great. Real great. All right. One minute. That's all we got. Okay. Just lay here or sit, eyes closed, and just rest. Move over into your side and gently sit yourself up. There you go. Rest pose. You might be doing a lot of that right now. What do you think? Being home a lot. Maybe being bored. Have you heard this yet from your parents? If you're bored, that's good in your life. But it is, you know why? You get to use your imagination. Sorry to say, but it's true. And it's kind of fun. You'd be surprised how much you know and where you can go using your imagination. Right? So if you're stuck in your house, going wherever you are, and you just want to get out, go for it. Okay? Come on. Right? You can close your eyes. And you can picture that playground or recess with your friends or a play date. And you can go there in your mind and have fun and enjoy. All right, so remember last week we talked about what is yoga, what is breathing, and mindfulness. So I'm just gonna do a quick review and maybe show you a new thing, okay? 
So we already know what yoga pose is. We already just did that. We're gonna move on to yoga breath. Okay, so yoga breath. Remember this? Remember this? Remember this? All right, so what we do is we We breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth. Pretending to smell our flower and blowing out our candle. I wonder how many of you tried that this week. It's kind of fun. And again, using your imagination, you don't need these props in order to do it. All right, we're going to do it one more time. Take a big deep breath. Smell that pretty flower. Use your imagination. It could be a purple rose like last week. It could be a yellow and white daisy. It could be anything you want, right? springtime look around maybe you see some crocuses popping up through the ground anyhow breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth it's relaxing remember this Oberman's wheel Oberman's wheel do you see how I have like a circle on my shirt I'm trying to make it the same I don't know why all right, so breathe in, open that belly, get big, and then slowly breathe out, bringing it all together. If you want, put your hands on your, your ribs here, the lower rib cage as you do this, okay? And feel it, it's kind of cool. Breathe in. Breathe out. And as you can hear, I'm breathing out through my mouth, but I'm going to do this next one, breathing in and out through my, my nose, and you're not really going to need to hear it. So that's kind of nice, right? So breathe in, breathe out. Okay. Mindfulness, right? So that's breathing. Now mindfulness. So we talked about looking at the colors, looking at the shape using those senses. I found something that I wanted to share. I forget. Nope. I forget who shared this with me, so I apologize, but I ended up like printing it and laminating it. I have a laminator at home. Those are so fun. I, don't, I just love laminating. But anyway, so what I, thank you whoever shared this with me. I forget. Anyway, do you see the different colors and then the numbers? and then the words. Okay, so the words. The first one, well, so this is using your senses for mindfulness. First one, one thing you can taste. So clearly I would need some food right now, but I do have some, my lemon water, so I'm just gonna do it. So when I taste this, I'm not thinking about anything else other than the taste of the water, right? I taste lemon water. All right, next is, where are we? Two, two things you can smell. Oh, wait, I have to do two? I'm only gonna do one for each, but do you see what they're doing? Um, Two things you can smell. Okay, well, this was easy. Pretend to smell your flower. I got nothing else. Um, Pretend to smell, I don't know, something. La oh, lavender. Okay. This was something that I was going to share with you. I have a box of treats. Okay. And I figured I'm going to show you something in it every week. Okay. I said smell, right? Okay. So this is what reminded me. The lavender sachet. Thank you to my mother-in-law, Nancy, who made these. So these are cool. So obviously it's lavender in a sachet. You can make these at home if you wanted. Um, but I smell lavender. And if you like the scent of lavender, it's pretty good. Nice. This is also one that you can, oh, perfect. The next one is what you can feel. Three things you can feel. So right now I'm feeling this sachet of lavender and you can feel like the little bitty lavender pieces, right? What else can I feel? Um, I feel really nothing fun. Oh, this nice cozy blanket. Mm. Feel that. 
feels good. Okay, those, what do you feel? I feel my feet on the floor. Stuff like that. Four, you, what you can hear. Hmm. All right, let's take a minute. I wanna sneeze from that lavender. Okay, what can I hear right now? You can hear me moving that box. Let's see what else. Do you hear it? It's the ticking and the talking of the clock. Okay, it doesn't have to be loud. In fact, it's kind of nice to have peace and quiet and kind of pick up on what you can hear. All right, kids, last thing is what you can see. You can see me, right? Um, maybe look around where you are right now. What else do you see? Okay, that is your five senses and that is a way to be mindful. I'm already at 31 minutes. Okay, cool. I think I thought I was going to only do a half an hour, but I just checked the time. Time flies when you're having fun. All right. Um, okay. So let's continue, please. Um, I can always save some of my fun things next week too. Okay. All right. Don't forget um, what we did last week. You can still do, we'll do it this week. Let's just do it. I'm going to be quick. All right. Remember the hand mudra? And we're going to say, put on those yoga glasses. Upside down. Look around. Say hello. Hello. Okay. Yoga is A-okay. Right? And from here, we're going to do it five times, standing up. We're going to do it five times, kneeling down, whispering, and five times in our rock and child pose in our minds. Okay, so here we go. And we say, peace begins with me, right? Peace begins with me. 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 Begins with me. Now five times kneeling, okay? I knew I had to sneeze from, I feel better. Peace begins with me. All right, five times in your rock or child's pose in your head, okay? And sit up. Breathe in, rainbow breath. Breathe it out. Good. I just wanted to review that again with you. And it's something you can do anywhere. You don't have to do the standing, the kneeling, and the, and the rock. You can walk around and do, you can make a different saying in your head. Something that has peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. Five syllables. We're going to do more. Okay. Get creative with it. Have fun with it. All right. So we did the song. Now we're going to do the, the story. And when I do the story, I would love for you to listen, and then when it comes to a pose, you can do the pose on your mat or on your carpet or towel or wherever you are. Okay? Okay. So, here it is. Rachel's Day in the Garden. I hope you guys are outside today. It is gorgeous, and I hope to get outside after this. Okay. So, this is a kid's, I'm going to read it, a kid's yoga spring colors book by Giselle Shardlow, illustrated by Hazel Quintanilla. Hmm. Oh, wow. Book of the year. When it, well, that's awesome. It is a very good book. And by the way, I have one for each season, which is kind of fun. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to back up a little bit so hopefully you can see both pages. Okay. This is where she does the sun pose. Good morning, world, Rachel said as she basked in the rays of the yellow sun. Sun pose. Let's go play in the garden. Sammy, Rachel scooped up her puppy and gave him a big hug. The sky was a gorgeous blue. 
just like it is today. Okay, rain pose, right? So Rachel and Sammy skipped around the backyard. After a while, a light rain began to fall. <clears throat> Tree pose, right? The pair huddled under the green leaves of a tall tree. Rachel felt the rain gently sprinkling her face. She took a deep breath and smelled the wet earth. Okay, this is bird pose. Sammy looked up and tilted his head to listen. Rachel looked up too. A red bird was setting into his nest. Squat pose. Then the misty rain stopped. Rachel remembered that she had pumpkin seeds to plant in her garden. She spaced the seeds two inches apart in the brown wet soil. I love getting my hands dirty. Okay, caterpillar pose. Look, Sammy, an orange caterpillar. Sometimes caterpillars are naughty and eat leaves, but they are still beautiful, Rachel said. Sammy barked happily. <laughs> Hero pose. Colorful, sweet smelling flowers like a tulips attract yellow bees, Rachel said. Bees help our vegetable garden grow. Sammy wagged his tail. Oh look, bees. Cobbler's pose. Butterfly pose. Sammy jumped up and down, trying to catch a fluttering purple butterfly. Silly Sammy, Rachel giggled. Butterflies love pink flowers. Flower pose, Rachel said to Sammy. That's why we plant zinnias. Let's see. Rainbow pose, <gasps> resting. Okay, Rachel and Sammy lay down on the grass, listening to the birds chirp. <whistles> Just then, Rachel saw an amazing sight. <gasps> Look, Sammy, it's a rainbow. I just love the rain. Sounds lovely. And that's the end of the story. And this is where we showed you the poses, right? In the book, a couple pages worth. All right, so I just wanted to read that to you. And I kind of like the moral of this story that even though there's rain, it doesn't have to be awful. You can enjoy the rain, you can dance in the rain. But after rain comes a rainbow and that's exactly what's happening for us, right? All right, so I'm gonna end the practice class today with a saying that I usually do with the class and I didn't do it last week. So you can repeat after me. I'm gonna give a little time after I say it. I say it and then you can say it if you want. You can do the pose, um, the hand thing. Okay, so, all right. May the whole world be filled with peace and joy and love and light and lots of peaceful children. Namaste. Bye guys, have a good week.